Okay, y'all. Let's walk out to the garden. In the grass pretty where Brian mowed it last night. I love all the stripes in it. So he does such a good job keeping the grass mowed. Anyway, here is the border on the outside of the garden and, well, of the raised bed garden. It, it is really, it needs work this year, but always, that's the way us gardeners are. Oh, I see a tube rose blooming. Miss Huff is really outstanding and really large. <laughs> Great lantana. And I'll span this way. Um, that's the lavender. I've trimmed some of it and I've, I've got to do more, but I'm trying to, to do it so that it'll last. This is about three years old, I think, and I have a pretty good um, flush of blooms early on. So these are roses, and down there is another Miss Huff Lantana, and it's got the first little bloom on it. So let's go in here. I'm beginning to think that the dahlias are just a flop this year. After doing all these videos talking about how good you could grow them in the south, <laughs> I don't know what's wrong. Except the heat, the weather, and a lot of other people are talking about just now starting to bloom. So, this is, um, this white one here is blizzard, and it has a bloom on it. Down here are several that are first year. The cafe will lay down there. It might have a bud, but it's looking pitiful. I don't know the problem. We have lots and lots of spiders this year. I don't think you can see it. You can't see it, but there's spiders all in there. This one I love. This is um, gets perfection. It's one of my favorites. It's beautiful. It, there's a, I have one that I picked that's in the house already. It's a light uh it's white with the, just a tinge of lavender in it's gorgeous and it's really big and it's it i like it a lot okay there's buds it looks like there's buds and i'm trying to focus more on um dahlias that have stems like these see the stems on here the more I grow, the more I learn. And I have some that just don't have, that just no matter what I do, they just don't make stems. So I'm thinking of weeding them out, except for Breakout and Otto's Thrill. <laughs> they don't seem to ever have really good stems, but they're such beautiful dahlias that I'll keep growing them. But this, uh, I don't know the name. I don't see a tag there. So. But it's starting to, it has, um, I, I have really cut it, when I, when I cut a flower, I cut it into the plant, see, down in there, so that I'm pruning it as I cut the flowers, so that we'll have longer stems, and hopefully, hopefully I'm learning. Down here, this is, gets attention, and usually it is, a monster taking over the whole thing down here and I have really cut it back a lot it has really big stems I don't know can you see that like a broom handle so I've cut it back and cut it back hoping that it'll stay in bounds a little bit it's gardening is a learning process and if you're not willing to learn, you want perfection at the beginning, then don't garden because you don't get it. This is Otto's Thrill. There's a spider in between. And this, see, the weather just has eaten it up. And it's not very happy. It looks kind of yellowish, so I need to put fertilizer on it to see if I can green it up. It does that just about every year. I don't know. Some of it has died out. Some of it, anyway. 
learning process, remember that there's always something to learn when you're gardening. So this I should have some dahlias but that one's wilting here and I'm just being real with y'all this year the dahlias are a struggle and I'm not really doing that much different this year except we have just had extremely hot temperatures and it's been really dry in between now we're getting a little bit of rain and we have um, irrigation on these so we water them so I'm learning see there's there's Lily inspecting over here are first year dahlias and hopefully they'll come on and bloom it's just a waiting game now to see if they'll work and if they'll bloom when it gets cooler which shouldn't be too long the cleomy I tell y'all every week that it needs to come out <laughs> about half of it's come out back there are beans on the on the fence and very few beans really pretty leaves but very few beans and okra very slow this year so there's always next year and every year the, the eucalyptus that I kept showing y'all that was so beautiful right there has looked like it looks like it is just gonna die yep so here's an overview of the dahlias and that's about that's about it the thing about gardening is you be, be an optimist and know that just keep trying and don't give up just don't give up because every year is different and this year we do have lots and lots of tomatoes so that's a plus so maybe not many dahlias but lots of tomatoes so that's it this early august in the garden this is mona from winter past